Pinkmon and welcome back to the Pokemon Shield LP. So we're gonna pick up in this wild area and I have a couple things to say about it. So I actually switched my controller to the um, Joy-Con grip. So I'm no longer playing in like one-handed mode, the casual, whatever it was, casual mode. So now I should be able to properly navigate this wild area. Um, I'm gonna keep shaking this because there's a Pokemon I can get from the berry tree that I missed last time. Hopefully this is it and not a, nope, it's a Squobit. <laughs> so in addition to that, I also found out the reason why I didn't, I could not catch that, um, what was it, the Ninjask in the last part is you're actually limited to a certain level of Pokemon that you can catch. So I was actually completely unable to catch that and it was nothing I did, it's just like you literally can't catch it at this point in the game because you have to have a certain number of badges to, c to catch Pokemon at certain levels. Giant mud brain. <laughs> So after each part that I do, I'm going to be watching Maryland's walkthrough, so I won't be spoiling anything, I'll just be seeing if I missed anything, and right now I want to Dynamax my Nicket, because I realized you can Dynamax at the start of each battle, and the countdown we saw last time was actually a countdown for when um, the team members Pokemon would stop being Dynamax so that we could Dynamax ours. Anyways. So yeah, I'm going to be watching his walkthrough after each part to make sure I didn't miss anything, and that is how I learned about the level limit for catching and a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah. While this cute little fight is going on here, I want to mention the items you get from this. So, one of the items we ended up getting was the experience candy. So, that actually gives your Pokemon experience points. That's a new item. That's pretty cool. Um, the other thing was I mentioned we got, I think it was Drill... I don't know what it was. Drill Run. We got Drill Run last time in the Diglett battle and I said it was a TM but actually it's a TR which is a new item. It's basically like the old fashioned TMs that are single use only. I think that's cool so we have a mix of the TMs and TRs in this game. The other thing we're going to do in this part is definitely go camping and I'm going to catch everything I missed in this area. One of the things I learned is it's actually a 17 part area so you can catch different things in all the different areas and it also depends on the weather which I think is random so we'll just have to catch what we can ignore all the things that we literally aren't allowed to catch and yeah I'm gonna try to find all the items here and just get through the wild area fully at this point in the game we'll definitely have to come back later to catch all the two strong things but yeah we'll do whatever we can at this point and then we'll finally go on to Motostoke we're gonna try out the camping thing real quick. We'll probably make a curry just because it's hilarious. And I don't really see myself playing around with the camping much after that. So we at least can try it once. It's pretty cute. I mean, it's like kind of a mini game, but not really. It's just like a cute feature that comes with it. I'm just gonna speed through this battle and hopefully we'll be able to catch this Mudbray, which is one of the Pokemon that you can find in this route not root in the wild area that we did not catch last time but if you catch one of these pokemon in the dynamax raids they're actually usually stronger from what i understand than the pokemon you can find just in the overworld or random encounters
Okay, it looks like we can catch this thing now. Hopefully this works. I don't know if you can actually fail at this point, but that would be pretty sad. I don't know if you only get one chance or what, but I'm sure we'll find out at some point. Yay, we caught Mudbray. And it should be a stronger one, so that's great. Um, and we got another Drill Run TR. We'll check out the Pokedex entry. So Mudbray, the donkey Pokemon. It eats dirt to create mud and smears this mud all over its feet, giving them the grip needed to walk on rough terrain without slipping. We're not gonna nickname it and send it to the box. Cool. Oh wait, I see one of the Pokemon I need, a Tyrogue. So while I'm catching this thing here, which I'll have to catch two more in the future, at least two more. If you didn't know, I'm sure you know. <laughs> Tyrogue evolves into three different things depending on its stats. So basically, I'll have to catch a few more in the future so I can evolve it into all the different things. But for now, we're just going to catch one. I'll save that for post-game dex completion. So what was I going to say? Oh, sorry, in the last like at least two parts, possibly all four parts, um, there is an echo in the game audio, and I'm sorry for that. I fixed the problem. I think I unplugged my headphones or something, so my mic was picking up the game sound, plus the game sound was being recorded by my game capture software. So hopefully that should be fixed by now. Um, yeah, <laughs> professional YouTuber status. So now what I'm gonna do is just run around catching everything that I missed last time, and I'm gonna cut it all out unless I actually find something new. So I'll pop in whenever I find something and update you on what everyone's level is and all that. So yeah. Tyrogue, the scuffle Pokemon, even though it is small, it can't be ignored because it will slug any handy target without warning. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Go to the box. Oh, I do want to show you. So you can check the weather on the town map. I mean, you can also see it on the overworld, but here you can see how many different sections are in this thing. We're going to visit all of them. We won't be able to catch things in all of them because that level limit, but yeah. So here it's just like considered normal weather. Then we have obviously rainy right over there. How the weather is different a few feet away from each other in these <laughs> areas, don't ask. It's just their logic. Um, I'm assuming this sun with a little dot in it means extra sunny. So, and then we have overcast and thunderstorms. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things we can catch. So I'm gonna just go look for things and I'll show you when I find something. Ooh, here is another thing I needed, so it's Bound Sweet. So I'm gonna pick this up real quick. I think this is the last thing in this area called the Rolling Fields, except for the Berry Tree Pokemon that I mentioned before. We'll have to get lucky with finding that one though. Yay, caught it, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look around for that berry tree Pokemon now. But first, let's read this Pokedex entry. Bound Sweet, the fruit Pokemon. When under attack, it secretes a sweet and delicious sweat. The scent only calls more enemies to it. What? <laughs> that doesn't seem like a smart plan, Bound Sweet. Oh, and so these glowing Pokemon, by the way, um, I think I kind of figured out what they are. So you get the the Watts. I was calling it W. <laughs> I guess that stands for Watts. Apparently, I didn't know that, but <laughs> I guess if you catch them, they might have extra attacks that they wouldn't normally have or something like that. And then you also get the Watts from defeating them. So I'm just going to fight this thing because why not? 
And holding on with one HP, Nick it. Thank you. I probably shouldn't have used you. <laughs> Whoa, and we just had a whole bunch of level ups. Rickety, level 12. And it wants to learn Fury Attack. Not the best move, but why not? Nick it, level 12. And it wants to learn Snarl. Again, not the best move, but it's decent at this point in the game. Woo woo, level 8, and learned Copycat. And Yamper, level 11. There, I gained 166 watts, which you can trade for items and different things in this area. These hidden items actually respawn, so you can check back a bunch of times and keep getting new items every time. Screw you, Ninjask. I'm going to do another one of these battles. I'll just speed through it. Okay, so we're gonna try to catch this Machop here. That took quite a long time, even though I was doing super effective, pretty good damage. These max raid battles do take a while. Yay, we got a Machop. We got Aura Sphere TR. Machop, the super power Pokemon, always brimming with power, it passes time by lifting boulders. Doing so makes it even stronger. Alright, I'm gonna keep searching for stuff. Oh, so here's something. Pancham. Am I in a different area right now? I think I may have just entered another area. So not rolling fields. I guess I'll check on that in a minute. Yikes. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta take this Pokeball from Yamper. I didn't know he would be holding it when he picked it up. I mean she. <laughs> Sorry, Amber. Score bunny level 13. And we caught the Pancham. The playful Pokemon. 
Wanting to make sure it's taken seriously, Pancham's always giving others a glare, but if it's not focusing, it ends up smiling. Aww. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I think we're technically in a different area. Let me check the map. Um, no, we're still in the rolling field. Okay, so actually, I just found out there's technically two areas of rolling fields. Over here would be, like, area one, and then this side would be area two, and that's where I found the pan jam. Okay, so that was the only other thing here, aside from the berry tree. So I'm gonna look for one. If I don't find one, I'm sure I can get one in oh there's one right in front of me literally <laughs> so let me try to get this berry pokemon jeez i'm getting a whole bunch of berries shake more Oh my god. <laughs> Please be what I need. Nope, it's a squirrel bit. Lame. I'll keep searching for one. Oh, we gotta go heal our poor Nicket. Oh. Thought we were about to get chased. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's our first time getting chased by a Pangoro. Um, since Nicket is fainted and we need to run away from this because obviously we can't catch it. I may actually use one of these Poke Dolls I said I would never use. <laughs> so let's use that. Run away from this thing. Oh, there's not even an animation of me throwing the doll. That's kind of lame. About to do another one of these raid battles. Celtic. <laughs> Let's catch this giant spider. <laughs> what? I didn't even get to see my freaking giant score bunnies attack. What the heck is that crap? One hit KO'd? Can't believe that. <laughs> So what happens now? Do I get kicked out of the battle? Because everyone else, like, got to heal their Pokemon at least once in the past battles I've done. Am I not allowed to heal? I can just cheer them on. Well, that's pretty sad. That doesn't help much. <laughs> Oh, okay, I guess we just have to wait through a whole round without ours in the battle, and then they get healed. Can I still Dynamax? I guess not. No! Did we all faint? <laughs> Did this freaking baby spider kill us all? Oh! We were blown out of the den. Well, there's a first for everything, and we just lost a max raid battle for the first time. Oh, can we redo- No, go away, Combi! <laughs> can we redo it? We'll do it again later, because we have to go heal up now. We're doing this again because we got unlucky with that crit that knocked out our Dynamax score bunny. I'll show you the end result. Well, that time it was really easy. See, we just got unlucky last time. So obviously we're gonna try to catch it.
Yay, we got it. <laughs> I just could not leave this undefeated. That was bugging me that it beat us. <laughs> All right, and we got a leech life TR, which leech life is actually good now. <laughs> So Joltik, the attaching Pokemon. Joltik latch on to other Pokemon and suck out static electricity. They're often found sticking to Yamper's hindquarters. Oh no! Don't bite my Yamper. Cool, so I'm gonna keep looking around. Actually, I caught everything except for the berry thing um, in this section. So I'm probably gonna move on to the next section. Okay, so next I'm gonna try to go into the Dappled Grove. It's raining, so that means there is one thing that I can actually get there. Actually, there's two, and then plus if we find that berry tree Pokemon that we need. Okay, we reached the Dappled Grove, and here it is raining. Here's one of the things we need. Timpole. Actually, hopefully this is not over the level limit. I don't know what it is. I think it's like 15 at this point. Oh no! I don't know if we're just not allowed to catch it or if this thing is just hard to catch. Let me do a quick Google because I don't want to waste more Pokeballs. Okay, I cannot find an exact answer on what the level limit is when you have no badges. So I'm going to try at least two more balls on this thing. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just assume we can't catch it. So maybe the limit is like your strongest? I don't really know. I could find the guide on, like, once you get one badge, you can catch up to level 25 and stuff like that, but I couldn't find a guide for, like, when you don't have any badges, so we're just gonna have to figure this out. Yay, okay, so we can catch Timpole. Good to know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking 15 might be the max level we can catch right now. So Wooloo, level 9. Zigzagoon, level 10. The Tadpole Pokemon it uses sound waves to communicate with others of its kind. People and other Pokemon species can't hear its cries of warning. I'm also going to look for an Oddish in the overworld. Um, did I catch a... Oh, that's a Lombre. I already caught a Lotad, I think. Oh, big frog. We want to avoid that. Here's a berry tree. Let's try to find the berry tree Pokemon we need, which is a Cheruby. Don't know if I mentioned that. No, another Squovit. You are not what we need right now, as cute as you are. There's another tree over there, and there is a trainer? Oh crap, we gotta go heal. <laughs> Yet again, I'll see you in a minute. But first, let me catch this Oddish.
Oh my god! <laughs> Finally, oh my god, you guys have no idea how long that took, how many Pokeballs are just wasted for a freaking Oddish. Ugh. So Rookity's level 13, Nickit's level 13, and at this point I'm kind of over the wild area. So what I'm gonna do is just like move on to the next part of the game because I kind of just want to like go on with the story. We can always visit the wild area anytime, catch all the things that are too strong, probably do it all in post game. I don't know, but yeah, I'm just like really irritated with this wild area. So Oddish, the weed Pokemon. During the day, it stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows by bathing in moonlight. And now I'm low on Pokeballs, so what I want to do is actually go back, heal up, see if I can go back to, uh, what is the town called? Whatever the first town is. Was it Wedgehurst? I think. Yeah, Wedgehurst. We're going to go back to Wedgehurst, buy some Pokeballs. There's also an item I think I forgot there. So I'm going to do that. But before I leave, I will do the camping thing just real quick because I figure I should show it off at least one time. Let me just do that now then. We're not going to read all the dialogue because it's a lot. A lot of explanation. So here we are. Yeah, we can play with our Pokemon. If we press A, we can call them over. And they're super cute. And they're going to cheer me up from that aggravating battle we just had. <laughs> so we can like take out this toy here. And shake it. Nickit's gonna run over here, even though I'm pretty sure Nickit- Did Nickit faint? I don't remember. <laughs> Whoa, okay. And then we can also make some curry. We'll do that real quick. Just to show you what it looks like. Probably never gonna do this ever again. Oh, we only have a fancy apple. I guess we'll try this thing. And then we'll use some orange berries. And an aguav berry and a person berry. I didn't read the descriptions of any of the berries, so <laughs> hopefully this tastes good together. I'm gonna mash A instead of shaking my controller because it just makes it easier. Alright, now we have to stir the curry. And put our heart into it. I don't know if I did that right. <laughs> Okay, let's see the results of this curry. A bitter apple curry. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks good, but bitter doesn't sound great. Looks like they like it. Whoa, what the? Three star? Curry. So, taste rating Milsery? Milkery? I don't know how you say that new Pokemon. I'm gonna say Milkery for now. Milkery class. Your Pokemon's HP was restored, any status conditions were healed, we gained experience points, and they all got friendly. So, that's cool. And then the other thing I'll show you is this ball. You can just throw it and your Pokemon will basically just fetch. <laughs> So that's all you can really do in this campground as far as I'm concerned. 
you can talk to your Pokemon, but we got stuff to do, so thank you, Nicket. That was cute, but we're ready to get out of here. <laughs> Scorbunny actually leveled up to 14. Two more levels and he should be evolving. So everybody's HP was fully restored. That's actually really handy, because now I don't have to heal up. By the way, let's see if we can teach anybody some of these moves. Nobody can learn Drill Run, nobody can learn Aura Sphere, and nobody can learn Leech Life. We can teach Swift, I guess. Scarpony has really low special attack, so it's not a great move to teach, but tackle and quick attack are basically the same thing, except quick attack has priority, so yeah. All right. I will see you when we get to Wedgehurst. Okay, so I'm gonna sell some stuff. The rare bone, the tiny, actually, I don't know. I'll keep the mushrooms until I know if we need those. Um, I don't think you can do anything really with honey, so let's just get rid of these. And then, um, last time I bought Pokeballs, I said you should buy 10 at a time. I guess now it's changed so you can do multiples of 10 and still get a premier ball for every 10 that you buy. So you don't have to do 10 at a time every time. Let's just get like 40 of them. Then we'll get four premier balls. There we go. Okay, back at Wedgehurst, there was one item that I missed over here. A rare candy, so that's obviously nice to have. Okay guys, well, now that I've spent an entire episode in the wild area basically, I think the area is so huge that if we want to progress this freaking story, we need to just move on and go back to the wild area later on. So that's what I'm going to do in tomorrow's episode. Um, we'll be going to Motostoke and continuing this story. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I'm kind of over the wild area, as I said. But if you enjoyed this part, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!